So the mission right now is pretty uh, pretty straightforward. Our, <laughs> our pack is growing bigger. Where'd you go? There he is. There's the new addition. We're not sure whether to call him Spot for, I mean, obvious reasons, but, or I, actually, no, my wife already named him Dexter. Yeah, there we go. Anyways, mission for today is, uh, well, today we got a lot done already earlier. I uh, got him fed, got him treated. The, uh, I had Tyler do an oxalic acid treatment and uh, Chris, who works at the store, heard about it and gave me a call and was like, yeah, Kevin, why are we using oxalic acid this time of the year? Which is a really great question because usually I wouldn't. But what, uh, what we do when we come out of California is we split everything down to singles and requeen them with cells, queen cells. And so the timing is such that there's minimal brood for most of the ones that obviously accepted the uh, new queen. And so it's just a good time for us to diversify our treatment because we do still rely a lot on uh, Amitraz, uh, our brand name, Apovar. Um, but we also use formic acid, we use oxalic acid, and uh, thymol as well. So just always trying to get the mites from different angles. But anyway, so I had Tyler oxalic acid these yesterday. So it's been 24 hours and I'm just curious to see what we got. I, I think I have to turn the camera off to flip it around here. Just give me a moment. Okay. And let's see. <laughs> it's kind of dangerous to be doing this with one hand, but whatever. All right, let's see what I see here. And try and not drop the I'm not seeing any any mites. Oh, I think I see one one there. Uh, I can't really point it out, but I'm not even sure if that is a mite. I mean, this is obviously a really good quality problem that I'm having to strain to see any. Um, so that's one. Let's see here. But yeah, so we're just checking, checking the bottom board. This looks like it did out. Yep. Um, just checking the bottom board to see what, what's going on here. Oops. Uh, uh, uh. I didn't like that. Yeah, I'm really not seeing any any mites. So anyway, so that was kind of the uh, kind of the purpose of this video was to just give the option that there is the option of doing oxalic acid treatment um, this time of the year if you've requeened or using queen cells. Here's a nice clean bottom board. It's a little easier to see. seeing any which is wonderful I mean, i'm sure there's one or two somewhere but anyways and obviously too we're going to follow up with doing uh, alcohol shakes here in the next next couple of days whoops sorry uh but yeah i just wanted to kind of give you a little heads up on what we're doing <laughs> he's all over me uh it's so good to have the have the girls back but just kind of a heads up of what we're doing uh, this time of the year, oxalic acid, not a bad option. Just don't rely on it very much at all this time of year, especially if you overwintered your bees because they're going to be brooding up and the mites are going to be brooding up as well. So, um, not as effective, but as far as, you know, on the end, the other side of giving queen cells, it's a great option. So I actually go back and peek some more, but just want to do a little informational video and uh, <laughs> introduce you to the, the ever-growing uh, large pack here. <laughs> 